那个警察讲：“哎、欸，女儿，女儿自杀。”我说：“哎呦，为什么会这样？”嗯，你做这样子我了。Hey. Hi guys, my name is Lisa. I'm 23 years old and I'm a marketing manager. 呃，我是啊，陈天凯，呃，现在五十九岁。And he's a Grab driver at the moment. <laughs> 很 Q 啦，我我很疼他啦。哎呀，就哭了。我的这个女儿真的很厉害啊，画画又厉害。他读书写字啊，很像 computer 打打出来的。<笑>爸爸整天骂人嘛， oh yeah. 不是很 close 啊。我我是很担心他,他，他以前小的时候有可能不了解，爸爸妈妈担心、嗯，为什么整天骂？不是骂，反正叫叫他，他不听我讲的话的。I was actually a very uh pampered child. Whatever I wanted, he would like buy for me. He was a great, and he is a great dad because he spent a lot of time with us also. The main factors would be toxic relationships. I think it's very common uh, around young relationships and stuff. So I did not know how to really manage my emotions at that time. I was a very emotional person, which is not good to let your emotions run your decisions. I relied a lot of my validation on my past exes. A lot of their opinions mattered a lot to me, and my worth was based on that, which is totally not good, lah. Also, a bit of academic pressure. I met a lot of smart people. I was introduced to a whole new world, so I was just unexpectedly pressured. I had the wrong mindset at the time. I started to go to class less. The change that I had from being such a bright student in secondary school to being a completely different person in poly made me very ashamed of myself. I did not want to seem embarrassing to my peers and my family, so that's why I kept it quiet. When my family received the letter, that's when my teachers had to step in also. You, your teacher, you called me. Oh, you? Yeah. Poly teacher? Uh, called me. I was scared. No, you. Is it because of your family that something happened? 然后忘记了，刚刚讲什么忘记了。所以那位的 school help me 啦 ，even though they were very。为什么你会弄到这种病呢？我以前跟你跟你讲过，不要给人家威胁你，你怕他，所以你要给他威胁，啊，你得了这种病。我没有被威胁 ，actually， I think it's more of。有什么事情都可以解决的，不用怕。你做什么东西不好了？爸爸妈妈都会原谅你。That that that was uh when I realized I had the wrong mindset last time because I thought I was a burden to them. But as I grow up, then that's when I realize、um, a parent's love is really very strong. Yeah. But because I used to think you wouldn't forgive me, you know. Dad has told you many times. Any thing, Dad will forgive you. You can start from the beginning. 
But that was not the case. I was just trying hard not to run. Yeah. How people viewed me at that time was I was lazy and that I did not have any passion or I was using it as an excuse to escape reality. But deep down, I was I still remember the girl who I used to be. The stigma is still very strong, actually, but I think we should not be insulting what we don't know, maybe what you don't know, and just be kind. So on the day of the attempted suicide, I was already on my depression recovery, but it was also another event that pushed me to go slightly crazy, I guess. Yeah, so I was actually at Dawson, a very high-rise um, HDB building, and I was I almost leaped the, off the edge. I was actually having a very fun time with my friends. We were all looking for our internships. However, the event changed overnight because uh, something happened with a very uh, drunk friend. He, he did not mean it, but he said very mean things like, uh, you're a horrible person, I wish I'd never met you. I was doing my very best already to recover. I still have to hear words like, you did not know your own boundaries, so it's your own fault. To hear such words from someone from your support system was, was very scary to me. There were even words like, just go and die. There's no more hope left for you. When that happened, it was not only based on his uh, drunk opinion, it was more of the criticisms that I had. Um, since 19 years old. I started to believe in that, um, along with other factors, then that's when the darkness overwhelmed me. So what happened was, I contacted my very, very, very close friends because I was obviously very scared. The feeling of darkness around me was very, very overwhelming and I did not know how to manage it, hence leading to that situation. I wasn't really telling my close friends that I am going to die. It was just more of, I'm very close to doing this. I don't know what else could help me right now. Um, it was a very scary situation because I was already sitting there and I almost let go. Like even till this day, it's a very scary feeling. But the, the first thing I suddenly um, thought of when I almost slept was, was my two brothers. They are still very young. And as much as I'm feeling so much pain, it was hard to think how my family would feel. Because they are so young, right? And if the next day they, they hear that their sister um, passed on like this, it will be very, very detrimental to their upbringing. At that point of time, when I decided to just stand back. That's when the, the police and ambulance uh, came. So I was very lucky la, because um, when I texted my friends regarding the situation I was in, they are the one who called the police and the ambulance. I'm very glad that they did not think I was seeking attention and that I was really, really seeking help, just that I did not know how. I don't then就心掉下來了。after they gave my parents a call, and then um, I was, I was sent to the, the the hospital, and they called, and my dad came to to fetch me. So we didn't really talk much, and I was waking off 
田女，你要靠靠我的肩膀吗？那时候，在那个 M， 因为我们没有，我们没有，我们没有讲话，连连我不知道。因为、like、因为你就要靠我肩膀吗？呀、yeah, ，因为我我要跟你讲很多东西，反正我也是很怕。Then then that's why 我 just 问你，我可以躺吗？你应该是有，你应该是有事情，但是爸爸。没有问你了。呀、yeah, ，你没有呀， yeah, 你没有问我。我们，你没有，你没有呀。你越越问越伤心了，不要问，所以我不要问。<笑>所以爸爸也没有骂你，为什么东西没有？也是希望你会好起来啦、嗯，要坚强啊、嗯，要坚强啊。爸爸失败啊，爸爸也是坚坚强嘛。嗯I locked myself for a period of time because I was quite ashamed, and I felt like after the incident, a lot of things changed. So after diving into the self pity party, then that's when I worked on my first goal that I mentioned, which is to be a role model for my brothers. What is very common is people will say, "Oh, just go and exercise, distract yourself, go back to your hobbies." That is a very good advice. However, I believe that you should be addressing the core problem inside. And have very hard conversations with yourself. Be very honest with yourself. What made you、um, become this way? It may be embarrassing to you. It's okay. Only you know. So that when you embark on your journey, you do not fall back to square one, or you have the less tendency to do so. We cannot control what happens to us. Whether someone、um, insulted you, someone betrayed you, we can only control how we respond, and whether we choose to learn from it or react. Irrationally to it. The reason why I really want to advocate mental health was because I I had this moment of truly almost wasting everything away, and I know there are many students who may be feeling that they are not up to their peers.、Uh, there is a certain pressure to succeed. And sometimes we let that pressure、uh, overwhelm us, and and then we start to compare our journeys with others. I understand at a certain point of time where you feel so hopeless. At one point, you might think that the decision to take your own life will be the best way, but that is a permanent solution to a temporary pro problem. Can you imagine yourself? If there is a spirit or realm or anything, you can you see yourself on a screen, and you see the way your family cried, or you see the way you could have succeed. You are still alive for a reason, lah. So don't, just don't waste your potentials. Whatever is, things will pass. Ah, don't don't think too much. Oh, I hope I hope these young people. 爸爸妈妈不要给孩子太大压力啦。有什么事情做错了，面对父母亲，敢敢啦，敢敢，哦，父母亲也不要，好像责怪他们的孩子啦，哦，谁谁说谁没有错，每个人都有会有做错的事情，首先要要回头，啊，不要想出怎样放弃你的生命，爸爸妈妈。那个，如果那个孩子想自杀的时候，你们不关心他，他越来越严重。你看啊，你说错什么东西啊？爸爸妈妈，我买什么啊，都要给你一份的，一定要给你一份的。你怎么跟我相骂都好，我都要买东西给你吃的啊，好的东西给你吃的，没有没有说放弃。哎呀，这个教不好了，这个孩子教不好了。不要想这样嘛，哦。I think sharing my experience online was one of the things that、um, helped me to stay accountable. The reason why I I continued sharing my mental health journey online was because to reach out to more of these students. Reaching this certain milestone made me look back and think that. A person like me could actually do it, and why I say a person like me was because I was once doing very badly in class, and almost retained, 
and my peers did not really believe in me. So I was once at that point and now I'm just sharing my stories. Yeah, I believe I'm doing a lot better now. Mm. Okay. And you can't hug my back, what the heck? Okay.